Hello students welcome to study zone let's learn together So today I will be discussing with you about the important questions and answers of chapter 1 synthetic fibers and plastics First question what are fibers and so fibers are thread like materials that are strong and flexible enough to be converted into fabrics and several household items Second question explain synthetic fibers or artificial fibers with examples And so synthetic fibers are man-made fibers and are derived from chemicals petrochemicals and coal tar Example rayon nylon terlin polyester acrylic Third question define the following A polymer And so a polymer is a very big molecule formed by the combination of large number of small molecules called monomers joined end to end by chemical bond Example synthetic fibers are polymers B monomer and so monomers are small molecules which can combine together end to end in large numbers to form a big molecule called polymer The word polymer comes from two Greek words poly means many and mer means units Fourth question types of polymers polymers natural polymer and synthetic polymer natural polymer starch is a polymer of alpha glucose units synthetic polymer synthetic fibers natural polymer cellulose is a polymer of beta glucose units synthetic polymer plastics fifth question explain polymerization reaction with examples answer the process of joining together of a large number of small molecules or monomers to form a very big molecule or polymer is called polymerization synthetic fiber example nylon polyester acrylic polymer example polyamide polyester polyacrylonitrile monomer example amide ester acrylonitrile example nylon is prepared by the polymerization of amide molecule sixth question types of polymerization linear cross linked seventh question explain the important characteristics or advantages of synthetic fibers answer Synthetic fibers are very strong, cheap and durable, elastic and can be stretched to a large extent. Lightweight. They do not get crumbled or shrunk easily during wash or wear. Easy to maintain, dry up quickly. Eighth question. Explain the disadvantages of synthetic fibers. Answer. Synthetic fibers catch fire easily. If the clothes made of synthetic fiber catch fire, then it melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it they are non biodegradable so they cause water and soil pollution they do not absorb sweat in hot weather when we sweat the sweat is trapped between the fabric and the skin and sticks to the body synthetic fibers may cause skin problems rashes allergy etc ninth question discuss the properties and uses of synthetic fibers answer rayon It resembles silk in appearance. Hence it is called artificial silk. It is prepared from cellulose which is obtained from wood pulp by the chemical treatment of wood pulp. Uses: making fabrics, bed sheets, aprons and caps, curtains, tablecloths, carpets, tire coats, bandages and lint for surgical dressing of wounds. Nylon It is the first fully synthetic fiber. It is prepared from coal, water and air. Nylon is very strong, highly elastic, flexible, lightweight, water resistant, stress and extremely fine. Nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire of similar thickness. Uses: It is used for making fishing nets, climbing ropes, parachute, tent fabrics, strings for sports rackets and musical instruments, bristles for toothbrushes and paint brushes, clothes. It is used as a plastic for making machine parts such as washers, pulleys, etc. Polyester. Polyester fibers like terlin, dacrin and terrin are manufactured from petroleum products. Properties of polyester are similar to that of nylon. It is used for manufacturing dress materials and curtain clothes, making sails for sailboats, conveyor belts, water hoses. PET is a form of polyester. polythene terephthalate it is used to make bottles jars utensils films and wires 
acrylic fiber. It is lightweight, soft and warm with a wool like feel. 10th question. What are blended fibers? Answer. Both natural and synthetic fibers are mixed together to get the best of both the fibers. These are called blended fibers. Example. Terry cord. Terlin plus cotton. Terry wool. Terlin plus wool. Poly cord. Polyester plus cotton. 11th question. Give reason. A. It is not advisable to wear synthetic clothes while working in a laboratory or kitchen. Answer. Synthetic fibers catch fire easily. They melt and stick to the body of the person wearing them. So it is not advisable to wear synthetic clothes while working in a lab or kitchen. B. Nylon is used for making rock climbing ropes. Answer. Nylon is a very strong, flexible synthetic fiber. It is stronger than a metal thread which has the same thickness as this. It is used for making rock climbing ropes. As it is strong enough to hold a person's body weight easily. See, people prefer wearing cotton clothes over synthetic during summer. People sweat a lot in summers. Cotton clothes, unlike synthetic ones, absorb water, hear sweat easily. So people prefer wearing cotton clothes. D. Nylon is used for making bristles of toothbrush. Answer. As nylon is very strong and flexible, it can easily scrap off all the leftover food stuck without breaking off. So it is used for making bristles of toothbrush. E. Nylon is used for making socks. Answer. Nylon is a very flexible, strong, wrinkle-free and water-resistant fiber. So it is used in making socks. Critical thinking. Give reasons. A. Plastics are preferred to make variety of things nowadays. B. PVC is used for making water pipes, water tanks, sanitary fittings, raincoats, etc. C. Bakelite is used for making handle of utensils. D. PVC is used as an insulation cover in electric wires. E. Bakelite is used for making electrical switches and plugs. F. Teflon is used for making non-stick cookware. G. Plastic containers are used to store various chemical substances. Answers A. This is because of their lightweight, lower price, good strength and easy handling. Being lighter as compared to metals, plastics are used in cars, aircrafts and spacecrafts too. Plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Plastics can be recycled. Answer B. PVC is a thermoplastic. It do get corroded and do not react with water. Thus, it is used for making water pipes, water tanks, sanitary fittings, raincoats, etc. Answer C. Bakelite is a type of thermosetting plastics. It cannot be softened by heated. It is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Thus, it is used for making handles of utensils. Answer D. PVC is a poor conductor of electricity. It prevents us from getting electric shock. Thus, PVC is used an insulation cover in electric wires. Answer E. Bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Thus, it is used for making electric switches and plugs. As oil and water does not react or stick to it, it is used for making non-stick cookware. Answer G. Plastics do not react with water and air. They do not corrode it easily. That is why they are used to store various chemical substances. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the bell icon. And don't forget to like, comment and share on my video. Bye.